I'm surprised I'm in first place right now. That, that makes me happy. I'm, ha I'm a happy boy. That making me so happy. Anyways, so not only did I break my friend's arm once, I broke his arm twice, and then I broke another friend's arm. So yay me, right? I'm a good friend. I really am a good friend. Always breaking my friend's arm. Are you really a good friend if you're not breaking their arm? That's something to consider. So I really don't know how to play football or anything, which is one of my like, not really a weakness, but an insecurity. I'm really bad at sports and I'm not like super, super masculine. I'm, I wouldn't say feminine, but I'm definitely not masculine. I have my feminine moments and then people are, are like, are you gay? And I'm like, no, you, I'm not happy. I'll never be gay. <laughs> yeah, I got first place. That's good. So I was playing football with a bunch of friends and everything. Uh, the most I know how to do is tackle. So I tackle this friend and when I tackle him, he lands the wrong way. And why did I tackle him? I was trying to impress a blonde that later turned out to be a lesbian. Yay me. So when I tackled my friend and he fell to the ground and he started crying, we all thought he was joking around and stuff. So we we're like, get up you pussy. And before anyone says, oh my God, pranks are locked in a cuss. No, I didn't because first of all, vaginas are very strong. So to call someone a vagina, how is that offensive? Vaginas literally gave birth to us. Unless they cut, you know, I'm not gonna get into that. But a lot of vaginas give birth. So that's very strong. It's talking about a cat. Cats are like very skittish. They're very afraid. I don't know why anyone ever started thinking the word pussy is a cuss word. Whoever thought of that and got perverted, shame on you. You're going to hell. And is going to hell a cuss word either? So we're all just like making fun of him, telling him to get up and everything. And spoiler alert, my man did not get up and he stayed crying and then he passed out and then the crowd surrounded him and I felt bad. So I just started backing out, backing out like my mama taught me good, oh my God. So when I'm backing out of this situation, I don't wanna get expelled, I don't wanna get in trouble. So I'm hiding bro and everyone's crowding and I'm like, what happened, are you okay, are you okay? He said he tripped. Sure you did. Second place, baby, what's good? And the girl I was trying to impress even asked if he was okay. Heck, I should have broke my own arm for that. But guess what? She turned out lesbian, so that's a thing now. Okay, so that's the first story. And then there's another one where I broke my friend's arm over a hat. There was literally nothing special about it. I was just like, yo, I want my hat. I tackled a small dude and he broke his arm. But the third time, would you believe it? It was over a girl as well. So the third time is actually the previous person twice. So I'm sorry I broke your arm two times. He didn't snitch on me either times. The point of this story, the moral of this story is I need to stop tackling my short friends. Like if I'm ever dating a short girl or something, I am not gonna tackle them. And I, I really wanna be careful play fighting because breaking your girlfriend's arm or something, that sounds kind of abusive. No, it's not abuse because they're risking going to jail because they love you that much. Oh my God, I'm not even looking and I made it in first place. Like what? What's good, baby? Now I'm in second place, that's pretty crazy. Maybe I should start filming these more and not look more because clearly it's helping me and I'm doing pretty good. I'm surprised. Or this just levels really easy. Oh, what if I started playing Mario blindfolded? Watch this, I'm gonna hit him. I have so many shells. I got, I got black, I got white, what you want? No, I just got all green shells and that's the devastating part. Dang it, I was hoping the race would be finished, but it's not and I will cry. Anyways, so guess what? I was trying to impress a girl. I think I already said that. Joke's on you, you needed a reminder twice. So I was just talking to this girl and we're in the talking phase. I, I love but hate the talking phase because it's just like you're getting to know the person and it's just adventurous, it's fresh because when you've dated someone for a very long time, it can get considerably boring because you know them inside and out and it's just meh. So I'm talking to this girl and one of my friends go up to me and they say, you're a hoe. You know how guys, they just play fight and they screw around. So I was like, what'd you say, huh, huh, huh? And I was getting up all in his face and it would just be awkward if I walked away at this point and the girl I was talking to was looking at me. So I, I tackle him and I'm like, huh, how about them apples, son? How'd you like that? And when I tackle him, he stays on the ground for a very long time. And I go back to the girl, like nothing happened. I'm like, so anyways, and she's like, is he okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm sure he's okay. <laughs> if this girl watches my YouTube channel, which at one point she did, she's going to know who she is. You know who you are. You remember this. Um, hopefully she doesn't watch my YouTube channel. <laughs>